Hi all, this is Yashika. I am a former uh, SWA intern at Google. Also, I am a past SSSM fellow. So today in this video, I will be sharing in detail about the application process of SSSM fellowship program. For those who don't know what is this program, the SSSM fellowship program is a six month mentorship program which is offered by a very reputed from DP Shaw for women in technology. It involves everything from learning, coaching, mentoring. And for the eligibility, all the second and third year girl students with who are from IT and CSE branch are eligible for this program. Now moving forward with the application process. So the first round of the application was online application form. In this application form, we had to provide our resume, our transcript, all our achievements and a letter of intent. In this letter of intent, we were asked why we should be selected for this program over other applicants. Before filling out this letter of intent, I would say first jot down all the points about your achievements, about the challenges that you have faced in this tech world, then try to form a proper essay. Now for third year students, it is very easy. You can add your uh, hackathon experiences, you can add the projects that you have made in your hackathons, how you collaborated with your team. For second year students, if you don't have much hackathon experiences, still you can share about the projects that you have made in your college or in your schools or any, anything that reflects that you are a key learner, do put that thing in your essay and write about your skills. And uh, one personal tip that whenever you are writing about your skills in your essay, add some personal stories to it. Once you are done with the completion of your essay, try to get it reviewed by any senior or a former candidate of this program. So moving forward to the next round, after a week to know, uh, most of the students got to know the results that they are moving forward to the next round, technical assessment. It had around five MCQs, which were based on probability and mathematical uh, concepts, a few MCQs based on your BSA and three coding questions, which were purely BSA based. Now the difficulty level of these questions were lead code medium level. If you are a regular practitioner, if you are a regular coding person, then it will be easy for you to make these questions. But uh, if you are not a regular coder, then it might uh, be difficult for you. So uh, the pro tip is keep on doing questions on lead code or any other platform. So also, if you have a good habit of doing questions within a given time constraint, it would be more helpful to you because this uh, test had this time limit within which you had to cover all the questions. After exactly one week, we got the result that we have been shortlisted for the next round. So the next round is the interview round. There were two interviews. One was technical interview and the second one was personal interview, which was a bit HR based interview. The technical interview consisted of uh, one or two DSA questions and then some basic questions of how Victor is initialized. Uh, and then the internal working of vectors, how vectors is formed and, uh, and for me personally the question that were asked were linked list based questions, few reversal uh, techniques and then some operations on that. Uh, it was quite uh, easier than the online assessment round. They were eager to know how in-depth basic knowledge we have about DSA. After the technical interview, I had a, a personal interview which was for around 20 to 20 minutes where I was asked some behavioral questions. Uh, will I be able to manage the program along with my studies, how the projects that I have worked on and few questions like how important it is to work in a team or how can we lead a team in, in, in the most effective way and some uh, situational based questions which help them understand our uh, mindset. So after one and a half week, we got the result that I got selected. If you like this video, do share it with your friends so that they can also get advantage of this.